We're about 20 days from the first leg of the Aiken Triple Crown. And tonight live at 5, a bill is making its way up the ranks again that would create a commission to legalize horse track wagering. Just hours ago, the Judiciary Committee passed the South Carolina Equine Advancement Act out of a subcommittee unanimously. Our Alyssa Alliance has more on the sports betting movement. I usually get a table at the track for every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. This is what Daniel Gosher is used to in New York. In Aiken, he has to settle for off the books. But people have made gentlemen's bets between each other here. We all will put a dollar in and we'll draw numbers <laughs> out of a hat. The wagering thing is, is like putting us behind the eight ball when it comes to other states that make revenue off of their racing industry. Its effects? Visible. Here, there used to be 400 horses here in eight race horses in Aiken. Now we've, we've got about 150, a little more than 150. It has tracks ready to race into a new era through Advanced Deposit Wagering or ADW. We will, would not have brick and stone buildings, but you could be able to do it remotely. The license fees would bring money into the state and the wagering dollar would help bring money into the state. The South Carolina Equine Commission could approve up to three licenses to offer ADW. A cut would go to grants to improve the equine industry. It could go to all the equine activities. If, I think I counted about 10 of them here in Aiken. Horse racing training, polo, steeplechase, dressage. To keep it around for another generation. It needs to happen. I think it needs to happen. They definitely should have it. In Aiken, Alyssa Lyons on your side. Thanks, Alyssa. Again, this is still working its way through the South Carolina House. Its next stop is full committee. If it makes it all the way through that, then the full state house votes on it. The bill has bipartisan backing. The only other form of legal gambling in South Carolina is the lottery.